Anyway, tonight's beer review will be on Warsteiner's Oktoberfest. Uh, right now, it's Oktoberfest season. There's no denying it. You walk down a beer aisle at your local grocery store or wherever you buy your beer, there's 10, 12, 20 different Oktoberfests available right now from a very variety of craft brewers. Um, not one of my favorite styles, but they're available now, so now's the time to review them. Uh, this one is, like I said, Warsteiner's. It uh, comes from Germany, so if anybody should know their Oktoberfests, it should be these guys. Um, beer Advocate score is 76, kind of lower end of mid-level, and uh, it clocks in at 5.9 ABV. That being said, let's crack her open, see if it's any good. Um, generally, I find Oktoberfest to be a little too sweet for my taste. Um, a little malty, not enough hops to balance it out, but there are some decent ones out there. Uh, let's get this one in a glass. I poured that a little harsh, but uh, definitely poured to a good head. It's a little lighter than most Oktoberfests that I'm used to seeing. It looks fairly light or dark in the camera. It looks almost normal there, but in my eyes it's it's almost golden. Um, heck, it's a hair, only a hair darker than, say, a Budweiser or something in that level. Um, it's not got that nice orange uh, tone to it that I'm used to seeing in an Oktoberfest. To smell it, you smell a lot of malt and a little bit of the esters and diactyl from the yeast too. Um, it's not as clean smelling as I would care for a beer to be. Uh, it is clear though, it's crystal clear as it should be. Um, still trying to replicate the color that I see out of it but it's not happening on camera today. Um, malt, that's about the only smell there. There's no hops you know, it's just a malt aroma. And like I said, with some of the diactyls and esters from the yeast. Let's find out if it's any good. It's nice and smooth. Uh, it goes down easy. There is a, a lingering sweetness. And some of those uh, yeasty flavors are present in this beer. And frankly, that kind of turns me off. Um not a fan of that in my beer. If you are, there's nothing wrong with that. Some people love those flavors in their beer. Just not for me. Thankfully it's not a weed, they're not banana and clove, but there's a breadiness to it um, is probably the best way to describe it that frankly, like I said, this isn't one of my favorite styles of beer and this is a lot of the reasons why is there are some flavors to me in these beers that are just off flavors for me. I don't care for them and there's nothing there to hide them. They don't hop these beers anywhere near enough to hide those flavors. Of course, that's the style of the beer. That's kind of what I don't like about it. Other than that, for an Oktoberfest, I could finish this glass and probably have a couple more. It's not as bad as some others I've had. And like I said, it does finish smooth and easy, so it'll go down smooth. Uh, there would be no problem having a couple of these. After a couple, though, I'm definitely going to be looking for another flavor. There's there's no other way to say it. with, And, and that holds true for almost any Oktoberfest for me. So, anyway, have a good night. Warsteiner, as far as Oktoberfest for me go, not the best, not the worst. Somewhere in the middle. Uh, cheers. Have a good night.